well patchwork my Suffolk Yow was the first of my uh, my yows this year to lamb and here she is in the garden you can see she's sort of she's picked her spot um, and she's giving it a good sniff so um, this is usually the, the precursor to her her lying down and, and starting to actually go into lambing um, so I knew I didn't have much time and literally not even five minutes later I'd rushed inside to wash my hands grab a towel grab some iodine and uh, came out to uh, to find she'd had the first of her her twins so that was the, the little girl, so I, I moved them both inside to a stall. So although she has a big udder, it's really important to check that um, the milk is actually flowing freely and she's not got anything like mastitis that's going to stop the lamb drinking. Um, so luckily she has a, a good supply and I do the same on the, the other side as well just to check. So here you can see the, um, the the water bag coming out just ahead of the, the second lamb and there's its little front legs poking out. Well, a few hours later that day, Patience had her twins, another boy and a girl. Although she was a little bit more interested in her food than her, her lamb. Jumping! Here we are. Right, you can stay in here for a bit. And a couple of days later, Flopsy had her lamb. This was uh, just after 3.30 in the morning and uh, I'd been up with her for a, a few hours and um, Flopsy was a first time mum and he was quite a big lamb so uh, it took a bit of uh, work getting him out. So this was me finally going to bed at 4.30 that morning and then getting back up at 6 o'clock to do the checks. Coming? 
It's Plopsy. Who's this giant? Is that your baby? Your baby.
So now we're just waiting on Blossom to lamb. Because she had such weak legs as a lamb herself, the, the weight of carrying either a lamb or lambs, plural, is really taking its toll on her and she's struggling to, to walk on her front legs now, bless her. Um, but she's got a huge udder, so hopefully any day soon.